Hey everybody, what is up? I'm Mark Supsik, I'm here on behalf of Wine Still Sold Out and welcome to my first weekly tasting pack. I'm pretty excited to dive into this tasting with you because it's covering a subject that's pretty near and dear to my heart. These are the wines of Calor, France. I was lucky enough to be able to go to this part of France many years ago. and That's how I learned about these wines. And while I was there, of course, I fell in love with these wines, the food, the beautiful scenery and the landscape, and of course, the people too. So I thought this would be the perfect way for us to get started. If you'd prefer to just jump ahead and do the tasting, I understand completely. So there's a link below this video that'll take you right to that part of the video. Otherwise, if you'll indulge me for like two minutes, I want to give you a little bit of background on the region of Cahors and of course the wines. The southwest of France has been making Malbec-based wines since the Roman times, probably even longer than that, so let's just say it's been a long time. In this southwest corner of France known as the Midi Pyrenees, medieval traders once spoke of a wine that was so dark in color that they actually called it the black wine. I mean, look at that color. Calor is the ancient Roman city that's pretty much considered to be the heart of this region, but the vineyards of Calor extend in all directions outside of the city. What makes this region exceptional for wine is the Lot River. The lot itself is a meandering, dramatic river that cuts through the limestone hills here, and the slopes and the terraces of this river make this the perfect place to grow grapes. Malbec grows throughout this entire region of France, but locally they don't refer to it as Malbec, they actually call it Cat. That's the ancient name. Most of the wineries in Calor are small, family-owned operations, like these two wines right here. It's very bucolic, it's very agrarian there. A lot of the locals, they don't even speak English. In fact, the uh, local dialect is French, but it's got some hints of ancient Celtic in it, which is really cool. Okay, so that's probably enough background on Calor. I think we want to get to the tasting now. I know I do. And if you want to follow along with me as I taste, I've actually made a little placemat here where you can take notes. You can download this mat from the link provided below the video. We have two wines here from Calor made with 100% Malbec, or Cat as they call it locally. We're going to start with the older of the two wines. This is uh, from Chateau Nozier, and it's a 2016 100% Malbec, or Cat. Unless you're a trained expert, it's really hard to tell much by looking at the color of a wine, but I always say it's important to do anyway because you can see some differences. Hopefully uh, what I show you here will help you a little bit. Tilt your glass forward slightly over this mat that I provided for you. You can actually see the color revealing itself pretty nicely here. It's, uh, it's like a ruby garnet color, which tells me that the wine is still young and vibrant, but it's starting to age a little bit. And if you look closely, you can actually see through the wine, which means it's probably going to be less intense in flavor. Now we're going to smell the wine to tease all those beautiful aromas out of the glass. But do me a favor, smell it without swirling first. There's some little hints of what's to come, but they're very uh, subtle at this point. There's some lingering cranberry. There's a little vanilla off in the distance. All right, it's time to go in for the second sniff. But this time, swirl your glass. Wow, wow, that's like full on intense now. It's like a fistful of cranberries. There's that vanilla. There's a little bit of lingering wood in the background, just a smokiness. The interesting thing about Calhor wines is that they don't do a lot of barrel aging. This is the thing I think that makes French Malbec different from Malbec from Argentina. And now comes the moment we've all been waiting for. We have to taste this wine, finally. So my friends, this is classic Malbec or Cat from Cahors. This is how they do it in France. It's nothing like what they're making in Argentina. It's lean, it's light, it's acidic. It's making my mouth water right now. It's full of cranberry and cherry. Almost no oak whatsoever. And it's very tannic too, which is crying out for some proteins. So it's definitely a food friendly wine. Let's move on to the next wine. This one here is from Domaine de Caus and it's called La Lande Cavignac. It's 100% Malbec and it's a 2017. By comparison, look at the color on this wine. Oh my God, no wonder they used to call these the black wines. And if you look at the color on the rim here, it's a very vibrant purple, which tells me that it's still a young wine. Let's take a sniff. There's some faint hints of blackberry there and also some cedar. Let's give it a swirl. Definitely more intense now and it's all dark fruits. So blueberries, blackberries, black cherries, and there's this backbone of oak and smoke in there, which comes from barrel aging. So I said before that they don't really do a lot of barrel aging in Calhoun, but there are some winemakers that take more of a modern approach. And I think that's what we're seeing here. And now we taste. This cot from Domaine de Caus is a massive wine. And it's not because it's 14% alcohol. It's more the Malbec grape makes it so dense. I mean, look at that. You can't even see through the glass. It's so dense. It's rich, it's thick. It's brimming with these black fruit flavors like black cherry and blackberry. And there's a definite oak 
presence there, which is not traditional for most Cal or Malbec, but this is more of a nod to a modern style. So now that we've had the pleasure of tasting these two beautiful wines, the next question is what kind of foods would you pair with them? Well, fortunately, this weekly tasting pack actually comes with two recipes that were handpicked by myself and wines still sold out to partner with these wines from Cal Or. First, there's a recipe for a garlic herb roasted chicken. Roasted poultry is always excellent with wines from Cal Or. And the second one is for a grilled flank steak. Red meats and game meats are great with rustic red wines like this. All right, my friends, so there is the weekly tasting for French Malbec from Cal Or. If you have any additional thoughts or questions about these wines, the discussion doesn't have to stop here. You can actually drop me a comment in the comments section below this video and I'll get back to you. Thanks so much for joining me today. On behalf of Wines Still Sold Out, I'm Mark Supsik. I'll catch you at the next weekly tasting. Cheers.